What's up everyone? Dennis here. We got another Gats and Freedom Outdoors cooking video for you. Today we're making homemade chicken cordon bleu with a little twist. Got a chicken breast. I got my smasher. I'm gonna flatten them out, get them even. I use ham and I use prevolone and I bake mine instead of frying them. So let's get in here. Right, so we got our chicken breast. We're gonna trim them, clean them up, and then we're gonna get to smash them. Now I don't know if it's just me or other people experience this too with chicken cutlets. It almost looks like the chicken has been sitting in water. Me, I trim it right off. I'll make a, a cut down the middle, kind of fold it back a little bit, and then We'll flatten it out a little bit. Get these cleaned up and we'll be back. Right, so we're gonna bang these out, get them somewhat flat. So now we put the ham and cheese in, we'll just roll it up. I'm gonna put this off to the side. We'll be back, we'll get these banged out, I'll season them up. season I use on everything. So we're going to lightly season just one side because my breadcrumbs are loaded with season. There you have it. We're going to make six chicken cordon blues. We'll be back when we get this going. So with my chicken cordon bleu, I have to use this. I like the cream of mushroom when I bake them to keep it, the chicken moist. But I'm the only one that likes the cream of mushroom. So we're gonna go with cream of chicken and we're gonna see how that little twist works out. All right, so we're back. We're gonna get the chicken cutlets in an egg bath. We're gonna get them breaded. And we're gonna make our chicken cordon bleu. So I'm going to throw in some mozzarella cheese as well. This is just regular cooked ham. You can use whatever ham you like. I've also made this with, I don't know, like an Italian style chicken cordon bleu. I put pepperoni and just mozzarella in it. Which is pretty good. You know, you can substitute the cheese or the meat to your liking. A lot of people, a lot of restaurants, they fry the chicken cordon bleu. I like to bake it. Less grease by baking it. A little bit healthier, I guess. All right, so the oven's set. We have our temperature at 375. So if you like this video, Please hit the like button and show us some support. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, share it out, 
If you like this recipe, another easy recipe. All right, so we got both sides breaded. I like to take the cheese first. You know, depending on the size of the chicken cutlet, kind of just, you know, cover it. I'm going to sprinkle a little mozzarella on there. Can't tell, I like cheese. Put it to your liking. That's like I do with any of my recipes. I make them my own. Well, same thing here. Just roll it. Keep your fingers there to tuck in the cheese and the meat, so get a nice roll. Tuck it over like that. I'm gonna throw it in a pan. I'll get these done, show you the finished product. And then we'll get them in the oven. So I buy Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, but I also add my own seasoning to it. And then plus, when I use my seasoning or the breadcrumbs when I'm cooking, for like my, my meats and stuff, they get sealed. They get seasoned, cut, then I throw my seasoning on them and then they go into a freezer bag. I seal them. So then all that flavor just soaks up sitting in the freezer. I like to do this, like I said before, with cream of mushroom. Just gives it a, a different flavor, but I'm the only one that likes the cream of mushroom. So, so like I said, you just kind of roll in it. So that way every bite well, I got a broken piece there, so we're just going to tuck that in and we're going to roll it. And I'll keep the this side up so the cheese melts down over it. So my egg bath is simple. Depending on what I'm making for this is basically just eggs and a little bit of milk. I don't like using a lot of milk in the egg bath. But depending on what I'm making, if I'm making chicken cutlets, I'll we'll actually put some Parmesan, grated Parmesan in the egg batter. Or I'll season the chicken, the pork, beef, whatever it is, before I put it in the breadcrumbs. All right guys, so a little pro tip, I guess you can say, or a dentist tip. So if you've got a chicken breast, chicken cutlet, and you don't have a smasher, when you, when you see the cuts, when it's like this, make a cut down the middle, angle your knife to both sides and you basically fold it out and you'll wind up with a flat cutlet as well basically almost butterflying your chicken breast alright guys so we got our six chicken cordon blues in a glass pan oven is set for 375 we're gonna cook it for about 35 minutes and then we're gonna just take the cream of chicken drizzle it on especially along the sides There you have it, it's all ready for the oven. We'll be back in 35 minutes. All right, it is done. Look how delicious that looks. Cheese is all melted. All right guys, here's my chicken cordon bleu. All right guys, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, turn on those notifications so you get notified when we bring you some more recipes, outdoor stuff, or when we go live. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you.